six opportunities for that now. Um, the player, if I was allowed to pick here, would be Nick Chubb. I think he's a very safe. And obviously that's not going to be the pick here and be the stupid decision to even make, considering Ron just sabotaged that pick. So we're going to assume that both teams in front of this didn't take Stefan Diggs and Nick Chubb got picked in the spot. So how would you reevaluate this pick and go another direction? Um, I think I would still look to take another running back in the spot. So if I don't get double sabotaged in this spot, I think I would like to take Saquon Barkley. I think he's going to have a good rebound. And uh, Saquon no. Barkley, and apparently Saquon Barkley is uh, too good of a pick here. Uh, I and love Saquon Barkley. So, yeah, no, they're they're fun to just drop on each other. So now I'm rolling farther down this list <laughs> and hoping to find a little bit of value. There's, there's but if I, if I can't do that, I could suppose I could try to do the zero RB strategy unless I get sabotaged with a second one from around this pick. Um, so it'd be kind of interesting if I was allowed to pick Travis Kelsey in the spot. Will you guys allow me to try the zero? running back strategy going forward. Let's see it. I'm good with it. So I'll select three running backs. So now I should probably go wide receiver. And if you guys are all right with it, I'm going to go ahead and take Mike Evans. Yeah, no, Mike Evans is way too good of a pick in that spot because he's going to be a deadly red zone target this season. So, no, he's way too good of a player for a sabotage mock draft to get in that spot. So, please select another player, Ron Seymour. Well, I guess I will select the wide receiver that's playing at the tight end position, and I will take a shot on Kyle Pitts. Mm. Holy shit. Um, I'm going to do a wild thing here. I don't like the people for wide receiver after, you know, Mike Evans. All right. Anyways, I'm going to go back into the running back pool. I don't know how Joe's going to feel about this because I know he wants him on the way back. But I'm going to uh, try and take the young workhorse, Brees Hall. Absolutely not. I'm obsessed with Brees Hall. He is not ending up on your roster that easily. Go ahead and okay. select him. Oh, Joe's down to one sabotage. <laughs> he goaded me and I took it. <laughs> All right. I will uh I'll really balance the team out then and I will go wide receiver here. This is a tough call, this range, because one of these guys is gonna be a league winner and one of these guys is I don't know, probably gonna be a bust. But um I really like DJ Moore's outlook with a trade of Baker. Um, he's been super consistent. Absolutely ridiculous. Brees Hall's there in this row now. Yeah, uh, that's who I would pick in that spot if I don't end up getting sabotaged. So. Well, there was no way in hell JJ was going to allow me to select Brees Hall in that spot anyway. So Brees Hall is not going to be on my roster at all. So someone else is going to snipe me in that spot. Uh, someone else I would look at in this spot and in the title of this episode, I think, is um, Michael Pittman, who is a big weapon for the Colts this year. I think he's got a lot of upside as a high-end wide receiver one this year. I like what Matt Ryan can bring to him as opposed to that piece of shit quarterback he had last year who is now in Washington and who is unfortunately my backup quarterback in Dynasty. Um, so I think if I don't get sabotaged again, I'd like to select Michael Pittman in this spot. And I still need wide receivers. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take – this one will probably get sabotaged. I'm going to take Marquise Hollywood Brown in three, two, one. Oh, good thing I can pause it and manually remove yeah, that player. Far Man. too long. So, Ron, what was the player you would have picked? 
Marquise Hollywood Brown. <laughs> well, after JJ Sabotage, who would you have picked? Uh, Mike Williams. Mike Williams? Yeah. The draft. And in this spot, I am looking, I think, to help out the running back position a little bit. Um, I'm definitely weak at the position, which could leave me open to get screwed here. Um, but I think if the Sharks don't attack, I would like to take A.J. Dillon in the spot, potentially as my running back too. I think he's a decent option. He's going to get a lot of work in that backfield and could get some red zone running. Uh, so you guys have a problem with me taking A.J. Dillon in this spot. Well, that leaves Ron with one, I believe. Yep. I'm so out. I'm really going to have Yeah, you're Jesus, out. Like, first five rounds. <laughs> you're happy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to get really creative with this spot. Um, I really do not like this player, but it's potential work here. So um, some people are high on him, so I'm going to go with Miles Sanders in this spot. Um, he's a starting running back. It's disgusting. But my running back position is disgusting currently. Um, there is some value a little bit higher. So I'm going to go with Miles Sanders as a horrible pick in that spot due to the sabotage. Players taken after that are Allen Robinson, TJ Hawkinson, Amari Cooper, and JJ is on the clock. Oh, look at that. The other Packers running back. That would be a great handcuff and someone you could start. Yeah, that would have been nice on my roster, but Ron didn't allow flex worthy there. I, I think I'm going to uh, – Draft AJ Dillon here. Sounds like a great pick, JJ. Thanks. I like it. What do you think about that pick, Joe? Go ahead. Um, so I want to go back to the wide receiver pool with someone that's got potential to be the number one wide receiver on this team to be a target hog, even hog. in a hog, um, even on a roster where the passing ability is quite limited. But I like the upside of Rashad Bateman with the Fucking Baltimore Ravens bitch. this year. So I would like to take Rashad Bateman in this spot. Sabotaging that. I got so, you, JJ. Don't worry. So that was Ron's last sabotage, and I am the only one with one left. Um, so I'm going to stick to the wide receiver pool here. And go with someone that's coming off a four touchdown performance in the playoffs. Uh, Gabriel Davis for the Buffalo Bills, who was in a high powered offense, too, and I think um, is just below Rashad Bateman and potential here, too. So, Gabriel Davis is going to be added to my roster. Next up, Jalen. It, it might be. I think it's oh. really 50 50 here with that. And JJ gets sniped on Rashad Bateman before he gets back. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to change it. I've never done a mock draft without selecting a bear. So I'm going to go ahead with Joe's approval, which I feel like is low, but uh, in draft Cole Komet here is a, a bad one. He's going to have to wait another round for Cole Komet. No, he's not going to be there. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to go back to who I was going to take instead and uh, go with another chief. Marquez Valdez Scantling, he has gotten the most pick. hype out of any receiver for the Chiefs so far this offseason. So taking him in the 13th round. I Very really next pick was Cole Komet. <laughs> <laughs> Cole Komet going. You have to wait another round. Really appreciate the uh, close up, Ron. Um, anyways, uh, Nikhil Harry, I don't know that he's going to be that big of an impact. Obviously, he has not worked out in uh, New England. So, um, this is very distracting, Ron. Very distracting. <laughs> I'm watching myself talk, and all of a sudden, Ron's well, giant face is on my entire Joe, screen. Joe must have switched it as I'm picking my eye. <laughs> Garbage time. Well, 